Yeah, thank you that I can join in via Skype. I'm Mario Taschwer from Klagenfurt University. And I want to uh, present our um, traditional approach of using traditional classifiers uh, combined in an early and late fusion approach, just kind of baseline, uh, not using deep learning really. So next slide, please. The main approach slide. Uh, <clears throat> we used actually four traditional classifiers that uh, got a fused uh, feature set uh, using two features. First, the provided Lira features, uh, which are traditional global image features. And then we used uh, Google Net features where Google Net were trained on uh, ImageNet, so very generic feature set and combined them uh, to get about 2,000 two dimensional feature vectors. And then just uh, used uh, applied traditional classifiers like linear SVM, kernel-based SVM using uh, radial uh, basis functions as a kernel, uh, random forest and logistic regression. And uh, for one run, we just used the output of linear SVM used as a multi-class classifier with a one versus rest uh, methodology to uh, obtain one single class prediction in the first run. And the same for the other three um, traditional classifiers. But in addition, we had a fifth run that was produced by combining the output of kernel SVM random forest and logistic regression by a late fusion approach doing soft voting on the 16 class probabilities output by the single classifiers, and then doing a maximum likelihood prediction to obtain final results for the fifth run. Uh, the results were, uh, of course, not so good as the other deep learning approaches presented in this session already. But it was not that bad. We got with linear SVM an MCC of 0 0.894. And uh, <clears throat> we just participated in the detection task, uh, not in the, uh, in the task uh, with the run times, but uh, we also provided the mean uh, processing time or prediction time per image uh, where linear SVMs uh, gave the best performance. But we have to say that this uh, prediction time does not include the feature extraction time because we use different systems for extracting features and doing the prediction. Um, next slide, please, with the results. Uh, the Interesting thing here is that the late fusion approach combining random forests, kernel SVM and logistic regression did not perform better than the plain linear SVM classifier. Um, and uh, of course the exit or prediction time is much worse than with linear SVM mainly due to the uh, low runtime efficiency of kernel SVM that use plot scaling to provide a class probabilities, uh, which is not, uh, which requires additional computation power compared to um, plain kernel SVM. The findings we got <clears throat> was on the, on the one hand, that we also tried to use other design options like using a third uh, feature set um, that uh, contained Google Net features that were trained for surgical actions on a different endoscopic video data set that we already had available. Uh, 
but this turned out to be much better than the generic Google Net features trained on ImageNet, so we dropped them right in the beginning. And we also tried to use uh, a tree of binary classifiers, also known as ensemble of nested dichotomies, uh, which also performed worse on the validation set because uh, the, uh, the, the way it works for training by recursively, recursively dividing the data set into um, two class uh, data sets soon ended with underfitting in the uh, different binary classifiers near the leaves of the tree. Um, but the early fusion approach of fusing traditional and CNN-based features seemed to work pretty well, as uh, we already saw with other uh, participants. And um, interestingly enough, traditional linear classifiers are both effective and efficient uh, with respect to runtime efficiency on this data set, mainly due to the high dimensionality of the features uh, in comparison to the number of training samples. Thanks for your attention.